Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa received the Chairman of uh, Aqua Power, Mohammed Abdullah Abu Nayyan, at Rifa' Palace. His Royal Highness highlighted the depth of relations between Bahrain and Saudi Arabia, which has bolstered cooperation on energy sector projects. His Royal Highness noted the importance of investing in renewable energy to support economic growth and contribute to current and future sustainable development efforts. He emphasized the private sector's key role in supporting global sustainable development goals. For his part, Abu Nayyan expressed thanks for His Royal Highness's commitment to strengthening cooperation between the two countries for the benefit of all. The chairman of the Rashid Equestrian and Horse Racing Club High Committee, His Highness Sheikh Isa bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the Minister of Finance and National Economy, Sheikh Salman bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, also attended the meeting. The President of the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs, SCIA, Sheikh Abdurrahman bin Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, addressed the 13th International Economic Summit, Russia Islamic World Kazan Summit, themed the 1100th anniversary of the adoption of Islam by Volga, Bulgaria. Sheikh Abdurrahman asserted that the Islamic religion has spread globally through peaceful means, good word, and the establishment of good relations between Muslims and others. He noted that historical factors reveal that Bahrain embraced Islam voluntarily out of its belief in the message conveyed to its prophet by a prophet Muhammad peace be upon him 630 AD. Sheikh Abdurrahman conveyed the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to the participants as well as their congratulations to them on the celebration of the event. He highlighted the noble Islamic values and percepts that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was keen to promote, calling for the need to draw lessons from the Prophet's message. He affirmed that the importance of the adoption of Islam by Volga, Bulgaria, in enhancing relations between Russia and the Islamic world, praising the role played by Muslims in building their home countries. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority, Zayed bin Rashid Zayani, met with Oman's Minister of Heritage and Tourism, Salim bin Mohammed Al Mahrugi. The meeting reviewed Bahraini Omani relations in the tourism sector. As Zayani stressed the importance of these meetings in enriching the tourism sector in the GCC countries and attracting international tourism markets and the initiation of intertourism. The two parties highlighted the joint Gulf action process in tourism and heritage promotion and investment and the tourism plans for Bahrain's tourism strategy 2022 to 2026 to develop tourism work on regional and global levels. The Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority announced the innovative identity of the new Bahrain International Exhibition and Convention Center, IECC, in Sakhir. The Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism and Chairman of the Board of Directors of the Bahrain Tourism and Exhibition Authority, Zayed bin Rashid Zayani, affirmed that this unique architectural edifice is a result of the visions and aspirations of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the directives and support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa to further develop this vital sector. He said that the International Exhibition and Convention Center in Sakhir is a key element in showcasing the center's importance at the regional and global levels. Bahrain's IECC is planned to be launched by the end of this year with the goal of strengthening Bahrain's status as a leading destination for exhibitions and events and enterprises, as well as attracting future tourism investments and events to the area. Uh, we're very pleased tonight to have launched the new identity for the new exhibition center, uh, including the new name, Exhibition World Bahrain. Uh, this facility was built to put Bahrain on the international scene for exhibitions, conferences, uh, and, and incentive uh, meetings. Uh, we have a world-class facility. Uh, it's 10 times what we have today in Bahrain, one of the largest in the region and in the world. And we aim to attract international events from all over the globe to Bahrain, to introduce Bahrain 
as a place to meet, to do business, to exhibit their products, uh, and to, to transact. Uh, this facility was built with the mind that we have multiple access to it. Uh, it's, it's split over multiple halls, so we can host multiple events at the same time. The convention center uh, linked to it uh, has a 4,000 seating auditorium capacity, uh, fully equipped with kitchens, with restaurants, and we are able to host any size facility uh, in this, in, in this uh, convention and exhibition center. Youth and Sports Affairs Minister Ayman bin Tawfiq al muayyad affirmed that the ministry is keen to support Bahraini youth, reign and develop their skills through the professionally designed Masari project. The minister said that the Masari project comes in line with the government's program to achieve Bahrain's economic vision 2030 and is considered one of the most prominent projects launched by the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs to form a distinct addition to the program of the Bahraini Youth Year 2022. al muayyad highlighted that the project aims to help the youth face challenges, provide scholarships and experience exchange programs in the best educational institutions and universities, as well as participate in non-profit organizations to enable them to the labor market. The second edition of the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa Quran Prize has concluded. The competition was held under the patronage of the honorary chairperson of Nur Charity Welfare, Her Highness Sheikh Lulwa bin Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa attended the final ceremony on behalf of Her Highness Sheikh Lulwa bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. A North Charity Welfare Chairperson, Head of the Prize Permanent Committee, Sheikh Alamia bin Mohammed bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, addressed the final ceremony. In a speech delivered on her behalf, the General Supervisor for Coordination and Follow-up, Sheikh Alamia, praised the initiative of Her Highness, Sheikh Lulwa, for launching and supporting the award. She paid tribute to late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, noting in this regard that over 600 participants took part in the second edition. Sunni Endowment Council Chairman Sheikh Dr. Rashid bin Al Hajri also delivered a speech paying tribute to the late His Royal Highness Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The representative of the ceremony patron, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Khalifa, then honored the jury and the winners of the prize in different categories. The National Initiative for Agricultural Development, in cooperation with the Ministry of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning and the Supreme Council for the Environment, planted over 217 trees and shrubs at the Selmabad intersection with generous support from the Ibrahim Khalil Kanu Company. The company's support to the Forever Green campaign enhances national efforts to expand Bahrain's green area, provide a healthy environment and bolster the agricultural sector. During the ceremony, the objectives of the initiative, the latest developments and the expected look of the following, the planting, were reviewed. The Salmabad intersection is the 31st out of 34 sites to benefit from the initiative. I'm happy to be here this morning um, at the 31st location uh, for greening in the national campaign Forever Green. Um, this is a heavy traffic area. Uh, any tree planted here will definitely contribute to uh, alleviating the effects of carbon emissions. It's important that we continue to plant trees all over Bahrain. Uh, we appreciate the effort of uh, Ibrahim Khalil Kanu Company, their contribution for this location. This chemistry or this cooperation between the national uh, campaign and the private sector companies is extremely important for us all to be able to reach our desired goals and for Bahrain to remain forever green. Uh, we're very happy to be here today and uh, we uh, always have supported such initiatives uh, in Bahrain. Uh, any initiatives from sports to uh, education to training to uh, uh, health and uh, Finally, now we have something that we can contribute to the environment. Um, uh, as you know that uh, Toyota, Ikikano and Toyota always uh, work towards the, uh, the better, uh, better uh, situation or better results for the environment. And uh, uh, we've always asked uh, our uh, Toyota to uh, send us or to start introducing uh, hybrid cars. And the hybrid, you know, they are very friendly and very environment friendly. And, uh, 
uh, when we heard about and we were requested, invited to participate in such an initiative, uh, without any hesitation, we uh, said, uh, yes, let's do it. And uh, we will always be supportive uh, in such initiatives. Uh, so always keep us in, uh, in, your, uh, in your plans, in your, uh, in your uh, um, uh, uh, strategy. We will always help you, we will also assist you as Ibrahim Khalil Kano and as Toyota. Uh, today we were pleased to uh, continue the initiative of Bahrain Greenery. Uh, with cooperation of uh, Kano uh, company, we have planted uh, the intersection of Sheikh Isa bin Salman, Sheikh Khalifa bin Salman, which is a prime location. Uh, we have increased the number of trees. Uh, we planted around 300 uh, of local trees that can sustain uh, in Bahrain weather, and it will add beautification and enhance uh, and reduce carbon emission. Uh, this, uh, this road is very important. It's the entry of Bahrain from Saudi Arabia and uh, I believe the initiative will, uh, will be an added value to this prime location. Uh, and I would like to thank all the participants in this uh, initiative for Greenery Bahrain, uh, hoping it will continue with the assistance of all other local companies. Infectious disease consultant and microbiologist at the BDF Hospital and member of the National Medical Task Force for Combating COVID-19, Dr. Lieutenant Colonel Manaf al Gahbani stressed the importance of vaccinating children aged 3 to 11, especially given the high number of cases among this age group globally. He noted that studies and scientific research have proven the safety of vaccinations and their effectiveness in increasing the efficiency of the immune system, as well as their effectiveness in reducing complications of the virus that may lead to receiving treatment in hospital or intensive care. He noted that studies have also demonstrated the role of vaccination in reducing symptoms of the virus that may persist in some cases after recovery. Dr. al Gahtani added that increasing one's immunity by taking a vaccine is safer than increasing one's immunity from infection, as the virus can lead to unwanted and long-lasting health complications. Dr. al Gahtani concluded by reiterating the importance for parents to ensure that their children receive the COVID-19 vaccine to provide the necessary protection for their safety.